Heavy duty tools are needed to perform a necropsy on an animal that weighs more than 10,000 pounds. The 32 foot sperm whale that stranded itself off the Madeira Beach coast on Thursday was methodically dismantled on a remote Fort DeSoto beach. A team of biologists and researchers want to know what made the female whale sick. It's very important to find the cause because what could be affecting her could be affecting the other groups that are out in the Gulf. The whale is considered to be pre-adult, probably between 10 and 20 years old. Once a cross-section of one of the whale's teeth is examined, a more certain age will be known. On the one hand, it's an incredibly heartbreaking situation. And on the other hand, um, at the same time, even though it's really sad, it does present a, an unprecedented opportunity to collect as much scientific data as we can. As crews labored in the midday sun with the whale's final resting spot in sight, they discovered many of the organs in the abdominal cavity of the whale showed signs of infection. You have an animal that has a chronic infection, probably it's going to stop eating. We're going to go through the gut and find out if it's been eating, but a lot of times it's kind of a cascade effect where you get an infection, it gets worse, you stop eating. Because it's coming from the Gulf, this is also considered an animal who could have had exposure to oil. Officials say that it could be weeks or even months before they have the results back on the necropsy of this whale. And they say that they may never know for sure why it stranded itself in the surf off of Madeira Beach. In Pinellas County, Brad Davis, ABC Action News.